Chase First Banking versus Fidelity Youth Account. Which one's better for your kids? Let's teach your kids good money habits from a young age with Chase First Banking. Now we're a few years into the launch of Chase First Banking, which is designed to help parents teach their kids about good money management. So back in 2020, Chase launched a debit card and bank account for kids. Now the Fidelity Youth Account, this is a teen owned brokerage account that also comes with a debit card. Now things to note, this is not a joint account or a custodial account. With the Fidelity Youth Account, teens can save, spend, and invest all in one account. Let's go over some key factors of each to help you place your child in the right account for them. Chase First Banking, ages six years old to 17. No monthly fee, no minimum deposit, and unfortunately, no APY on your money sitting in your account. Access to 16,000 plus ATMs nationwide, as well as 4,700 branches. And as we stated, comes with a Visa debit card. You, the parent, can give as much or as little access to what your child can do with this account. View balances and transactions. Option for the child to request money from the parent. Spend, save, and earn money. Set savings goals, like for example, that new skateboard they want. Completing chores for allowance. Now let's cover the fees. Well, there are no monthly fees, no overdraft fees, and no Chase ATM fees. There is a $3 non-Chase ATM fee though, so watch out for that. And Expedited shipping for a replacement card is $5 if your child loses a card. And for some reason, the foreign currency conversion of 3%, which I don't know why that is really that important on a kid's debit card. And also, you the parent must have an account with Chase. The Fidelity Youth Account. This is for ages 13 to 17 years old. This is for your teens that are probably a little more advanced and ready to get past the savings, spending, and, and simple money management goals. Also, no fees, no minimum balance. Your teens can invest in stocks, ETFs, and Fidelity mutual funds. Also, no domestic ATM fees. Hands-on investing with as little as $1 with fractional shares. They also have a financial education curriculum to give teens something to educate themselves on when investing. And you have your teen-owned debit card. Also free to transfer money in and out. There is security and oversight from the parent, which they can review active online. You get alerts to see trades and transactions. And of course, if it's not right for you, you can close that account or debit card at any time. Now, when your teen turns 18 years old, that account is transitioned into a traditional retail brokerage account with no additional fees. And just like Chase, parents must have an account with Fidelity. You can also transfer money to your teens like an allowance. You are responsible for your teens trading activity. For example, if there is fraudulent activity, you are the main point of contact. Now, a question you may have regarding this account. What is the difference between the youth account and a Roth IRA for kids? The youth account is a teen owned taxable brokerage account. It is owned by the minor who makes all the investment decisions. A Roth IRA for kids is a custodial account where the parents or the guardian manages everything on behalf of the child who is under 18 years of age. Also, earnings in this Roth are tax-free and qualified withdrawals are also tax-free. So what do you think? Which one fits your child best? Comment below if you have any questions that I didn't cover or have opened one of these accounts for your kids. And let me know why. If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and maybe giving me a like as well. It really does help support the channel. From my point of view, the Chase First Banking is the better selection for not only a child six to 12 years old, but someone that is at the very beginning stages of managing money, not quite ready to start their investment journey. As the Fidelity Youth Account is more for that teen 13 to 17 years old that has good money management foundation already in place and is ready to make the next step in investing. Now, if you do have a teen that isn't really ready to start investing, but picture investing coming down the road, maybe the Fidelity Youth Account is the place to start. Just using it for the debit card and checking account until your teen's really ready to drive into investing. So like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to give yourself a raise. Now YouTube recommends these two videos for you to watch next. So go ahead and check those out.